assalamu alaikum my name is omar shwas riyaz you are watching my youtube channel in this this video we will see that how we can do simulation and rating of a heat exchanger so first of all i will differentiate between simulation and rating in simulation our input and heat exchanger that we we have designed will define our output result but in rating we will design a heat exchanger and then we will see that uh, this heat exchanger acceptable is acceptable for our input and output results either and uh, this gives the required results or not so uh, now without wasting time we will move to our simulation first of all we will see that what problem we are having we are having an acid its temperature has to be reduced from 90 degrees to 77 degrees because it is spraying in absorption towers for the absorption of so3 to produce oleum uh, the cooling media is water uh, its temperature has been given to us as 25 degrees Cel uh, celsius pressure Uh, for both streams have been given to us and the flow rate of water is also given so now we will move to our simulation first of all i will add my components that are sulfuric acid h2so4 and then water after this i will press this next button uh, i will select a, a property method uh, for this i will select ideal after this i will press this next uh, one button sorry now you can see my that <coughs> now you can see that my results are available i will go to the simulation here uh, you can see that this is exchangers i will press this exchangers and then uh, from this heat exchanger or heat x i will select uh, i will select this uh, block as for my simulation after this i will increase its size now i have to make uh, my connections for material streams so this is my cold out this is my hot out and this is my hot in so now i will quickly rename them as c in c out heat a hot in and hot out now i have to define my material streams so my cold uh, stream was at 25 degrees and this is uh, what cooling water pressure was 3 bar and its flow rate was 2000 kg mol per hour flow rate was 2000 Uh, after this i will press this next button now i will define my hot in it was sulfuric acid at 90 degrees uh, its pressure was 4 bar and its uh, flow rate was given to us in uh, volumetric flow rate was given 77 cubic uh, meter per hour so 77 cubic meter per hour so here Uh, and its concentration was also uh, given to us uh, it was 0.98.5% concentrated so the naming will i give for water after this i will press this next button uh, now here for the design i have to uh, choose one of the specification so here Uh, we have been given to us the hot stream outlet temperature what was that that was 77 so you can see that my run button has been activated i will press this run button so now you can see that my results are available now we will do the rating and simulation that was the main purpose for our video there are two methods you can do this first of all you can uh, click this a uh, shallow tube and then you if you will press this convert you can do the rigorous design but here i will uh, another use but now i will use another very useful option that is present in aspen uh, plus that is uh, if we press this heat exchanger icon so now you can see that a new window has been activated and uh, i will press this size exchanger so now you can see that uh, pima type has been already selected you can change if you want uh, other things uh, tube outer diameter pitch uh, tube uh, pattern you can also change if you want to specify some uh, sizes for design you can press this next but i will 
and select as no and let it calculate by the S pen plus. So now location of hot plate I will select as uh, shell side or yes in the because water will go into the tubes. No, sorry, shell side because uh, the location of hot plate will be in the shell side. Uh, then I will go just this uh, process and here I will, will have to give the allowable pressure drops for uh, hot side I will give as 3 and for uh, cold side I will give as 5. Now I have to give the fouling resistances so I will give my fouling resistances for hot side and cold side. After this I will press this run button now you can see that uh, my uh, run has been completed so uh, if you go to the geometry you can see that uh, S1 has calculated uh, the uh, shell ID and the number of tubes, baffles, lengths uh, all the things you can see that it has uh, calculated in the S1 plus so if you want to see the TMA input sheet you can see it uh, by clicking this TMA input after this uh, you can see that that is the sketch of your uh, heat exchanger after this if you want to uh, there are many different options uh, here this is the property data you can see the uh, hot spin so now um, by pre so these are the hot spin properties uh, these are the cold spin uh, properties uh, you can say see that so these are the cold spin properties Heat, heat exchanger uh, geometry press uh, this heat exchanger if you press the geomet uh, geometry summary you will see that this is uh, the geometry uh, summary uh, shell and tube flanges you will see that uh, these are the shell head flanges and tube tubes the tubes uh, you can see that uh, what will be the tube outside diameter tube thickness baffles uh, you can see that these are the this will be the baffle cut uh, bundle layout so these this will be the bundle layout so now you can see that a lot of things have been calculated or you can say all things have been calculated if you want to go to the team uh, sheet you can see that this is the team sheet for this heat exchanger now if you want to see the uh, mechanical summary uh, you will press this and you can see this is the uh, exchanger geometry setting plan so now this is the uh, complete setting plan for the uh, mechanical engineer to design a heat exchanger so now uh, I will uh, save this and we will move to our simulation again for rating and so I will name as so I will name it as FMS save it and now we will move to our uh, rating and simulation so now I will uh, select here as uh, rating so now sorry I will select here as shell and tube so now uh, s I have I will press this uh, specify uh, exchange geometry because I have designed a heat exchanger I will import uh, my EDR file for this I will press this browse button now you can see that was my EDR file and then I will press this convert uh, now I will change it now I can change it to uh, rating and here I will press this browse EDR browser now here I will define my shell outer diameter tube length baffle spacing number of baffle tube passes and tube etc because these are the things that have been calculated uh, is uh, might not be available with us uh, our uh, we will define our values so here uh, if I want my shell outer diameter uh, to be uh, 14 uh, tube length I because 53.14 uh, I want my tubes to be uh, sorry uh, 60 uh, tube inches long so I will select here as 60 baffle spacing you can uh, take as 10 if you want uh, number of tubes 
you can want to have the that <coughs> if you want your number of tubes uh, to be 116 so you can take as um, 116 number of passes you do not want number of passes to be two you can add uh, write any value so i will here write as four so no i will write as two after this uh, you will press this uh, run button so now you can see that our results are available so i will again go to my main flow sheet and i will press this uh, edr and here if i will go to my results so now you can see that uh, the required heat exchanger area was 8.23 that we have calculated in our uh, edr file and the actual area is uh, 10.04 the excess design is 22 percent uh, so uh, if uh, excess design is up to 15% uh, it is acceptable so now uh, if i uh, <coughs> so now if i go to the main flow sheet you will see that uh, that was our input uh, hot stream inlet temperature that was our required 77 outlet temperature and that was our cool uh, stream uh, inlet temperature of water and uh, if I increase its size and so now if I made it if I make it a little bit <coughs> if I make it a little bit clearer so now if I change uh, my simulation so if I change my rating to my simulation now what will happen that our input uh, stream and my heat exchanger uh, heat exchanger design will define our output results so there will be a little change in our results uh, so if i change it to simulation and then press run so now if i go to the main uh, flow sheet my results are available so now you can see that uh, the temperature has been reduced to 75 degree in rating uh, we are evaluating uh, our heat exchanger uh, for our input and output results that uh, for example uh, we have given that our uh, input was 90 and we want our output to be input was 90 degrees we want our output to be 77 and then uh, we have <coughs> the uh, rate our heat exchanger with uh, respect to that specific but in simulation our input values and our heat exchanger will define our output values so now uh, in this uh, way you can see that we can design uh, weight and simulate a heat exchanger in s plus in a very easy way i hope you like the video inshallah uh, meet you in another video assalamu alaikum